My name is George Fernandez, and I'm the founder and CEO of Modern Canna Laboratories. Modern Canna's reputation speaks for itself, and we've built that reputation over the years, not just through fast turnaround times and good service, but also by providing reliable data that our clients can count on. When samples come to the laboratory, it is our responsibility to ensure that they are safe for human consumption. It's about accuracy. It's about reproducibility and reliability. Modern Canna was founded in 2014. We were the first lab involved in rural development. We were the first lab to test medical marijuana in the state of Florida, something else that we take great pride in. Our clients know that our data is legally defensible and that it's reproducible. This is an industry that's changing, it's constantly evolving, so you have to be nimble, you have to be able to pivot quickly, adjust to new rules and regulations. In 2019, we found out that the state was planning to require a variety of microbial analyses, and so when that happened, we really needed to start looking more into what provider we were gonna use, what vendor we were gonna go with, what technology we were gonna go with. At that time, we were doing plating, and we were having a lot of inconsistency with reproducibility of data, contamination, and so we started looking at microarray versus qPCR, and medicinal genomics had done the work to understand and know these assays. That's not something that every vendor could provide, and that was when we decided medicinal genomics was going to be our partner. We use medicinal genomics products to test for microbial contaminants. In our extraction process, we're isolating the DNA. From there, we then tested for aspergillus species, salmonella, shingotoxin E. coli, and yeast and mold. Besides those, we also test for viruses and gender testing through medicinal genomics. The important part of isolating cannabis DNA in the process is that it serves as an internal standard and allows us to ensure that our process worked. So if there's no microbes present, we can confidently say there was no microbes present. Uh, this is a big benefit over something like plating where you're not able to have that internal control. You can plate a sample and something won't grow and you may think it's safe. However, if that plating didn't work, you really don't know if the product is safe for human consumption. One of our favorite features of medicinal genomics is our fast extraction process. When we have busy days and 80 to 100 samples, there's a lot of work in micro. Being able to streamline our process is extremely helpful. Using medicinal genomics in their qPCR platforms really allows us to have that confidence in the data we're reporting. It allows us to know for sure that that sample is clean and no one is gonna be harmed when they consume it. I do a lot of troubleshooting across the lab with various instruments and different chemical processes for the different tests that we do within the laboratory. Medicinal Genomics has been a fantastic partner providing technical support. It'd be very difficult to do my job without having them in place. The future of cannabis testing is here to stay. Third-party testing is going to continue existing so that people can work out the kinks and figure out the regulations and the standardization. When it goes recreational, the market is going to be booming and if labs don't have the support and the standardization that they need, they're not going to be able to handle the sample volume of such a booming market. We want to be number one and I think that with a partner like Medicinal Genomics, we can do that.